It's, it's bad everywhere in right. Lake Tahoe, especially we're talking about those road conditions mm -hmm. because they got about eight inches overnight, which is a lot of snow yes. to get in a very short period it's of that time. It's heavy, wet snow. It's yep. almost like concrete. It's mm -hmm. very hard to shovel. It's very hard to remove from the roads. We're in for more rain, unfortunately. Let's start by adding up the rain that we have already received just in the last 24 hours. Almost an inch of rain for San Jose, just short of an inch and a half for San Francisco, exactly an inch and a half for Fremont. Almost two inches of rain for Redwood City, over two inches in Dublin, and over four and a half inches of rain in Ben Lomond. You can see why there are so many issues in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And unfortunately, we are not done with the rain chances just yet. I want to bring in our virtual rain gauges, and we're going to talk not just about the rain that's on the way for tonight into tomorrow, but the continuing rain chances over the next seven days. We're going to add up the rain, and the rain gauges are going to fill up using Santa Rosa, San Francisco, and San Jose as three spots to kind of give us an overview of the entire Bay Area. And this is an average of forecast model data, so it's not just one forecast model that's maybe out to lunch, maybe overestimating things. This is pretty typical across all of the day that we're looking at. Over five and a half inches of additional rainfall for Santa Rosa and much of the North Bay over the next seven days. San Francisco, close to four inches of additional rain on top of already saturated ground. And even in the Santa Clara Valley, adding up another three inches of rain through the weekend. And it doesn't look like we're really going to break out of this active weather pattern until we get towards maybe the middle and end of next week. So we've got a long way to go. I want to take a look at all of the wind damage and flooding reports that we have seen across the Bay Area. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. But first, the big picture pattern. Showers and thunderstorms likely tonight into Tuesday. Those are going to move through fairly quickly, but still intense rain for a short amount of time can lead to more flooding. And then more widespread rain is going to arrive late Tuesday night into Wednesday. Here are all those damage reports. Every icon on the map is either a flooding report or a wind damage report. And you can see just dozens across the Bay Area, mostly late last night into early Early this morning, and unfortunately, I think we're going to be in for more of the same as we head through the next couple of days. Let's take a look at Futurecast. At least we stay dry this evening, but there is that band at what's likely going to be thunderstorms hitting the coast by two o'clock in the morning. Now, as those make their way farther inland, they're still going to be producing cloud to ground lightning, and they're still going to be producing some heavy downpours. But those downpours will be brief. This moves across the Bay Area quickly, but it's followed up by often on showers, just adding insult to injury with more widespread rain for the morning commute because, of course, that's always the way it works out. Often on rain is going to continue through the rest of the morning. At least it's not going to rain everywhere all the time. And we do see a bit of a break in the action Tuesday afternoon, but still some hit or miss showers, maybe even a couple thunderstorms are going to remain possible before the next round of rain moves in. That's going to be late Tuesday night into Wednesday. That rain looks like it's initially going to be moving in right around the morning rush hour on Wednesday. It always works out that way. And this is yet another round of widespread light to moderate rain. There are going to be some pockets of heavy downpours here, but this is just the last thing we need on top of already saturated ground. That clears out and it finally looks like we're going to catch a dry break from Wednesday night into Thursday and Thursday night. Adding up these two rounds of rain tonight and tomorrow and then again on Wednesday, North Bay looking at generally two to three inches of additional rainfall. Some of the higher terrain spots easily picking up over three inches of rain within the next 48 hours. For the south, the amounts aren't going to be quite as intense, but still an inch to two inches of rain on top of what's already fallen with some spots, especially in the Santa Cruz Mountains, likely to pick up even more than that. And it's going to be windy once again. The wind advisory goes into effect at 10 p.m. tonight. It's really going to be gustiest as that line of thunderstorms arrives. Widespread wind gusts 30 to 40 miles an hour. Some are going to be over 50 miles an hour. Certainly capable, given the wet soils, of bringing down more trees, causing more power outages, just generally causing a mess. This wind advisory goes until 4 o'clock. The winds are going to be dying down gradually as we head through the afternoon. The winter storm warning for the high Sierra continues through 4 a.m. Wednesday. They're going to pick up another 18 to 36 inches of additional snow above 7,000 feet in elevation. If you want some good news, you can look at the 8 to 14 day outlook. Wetter than normal conditions are still likely, but it's a weaker signal towards those wetter than normal conditions. And I think this is really going to be front loaded towards the beginning of this time frame. By the time we hit the middle and end of next week, I think we are going to be getting into a drier weather pattern, which certainly can't happen soon enough. Here's the seven day forecast alert days tomorrow and Wednesday, and then mercifully a dry day on Thursday before more rain is going to arrive for Friday. Looks like it's going to be most heavy and most widespread on Saturday continuing with a few showers into Sunday and Monday. Once again, we'll continue evaluating for additional alert days as we head farther into the week. But right now we're really kind of zeroed in on the next 48 hours with two more rain chances headed our way. All right, we're not out of it yet. Thank you, Paul.